so um, this is an update to Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's called Dark Ages Part 1. Um, this is really a mix of a medieval theme with nighttime combat. Um, I can show you the map here. Our artists have kind of outdone themselves again. You see some of the new rewards. I'll be discussing those in the level. And we'll jump into a level here at night nine. Let me talk a little bit about the board before we pick our plants. So in addition to it being a night theme, you'll also have no sun falling from the sky, which will change the way that you interact with your sun economy. Also, we've got two new ways to combat that. We've got gravestones that will deliver either plant food or sun, respectively. So for picking our plants, we'll pick a couple old favorites. The grave buster will be particularly helpful with the gravestones there. We've also got five new plants, which I'll talk about in level. Our first new plant is the sun shroom. The sun shroom is um, going to be your main sun production plant. It actually has three stages of growth. Each time it will deliver you a little bit more sun, starting with 25, then 50, and 75. The plant food effect for this one is going to be an instant growth to the largest size and a boost of extra sun. The next plant is the puff shroom. The puff shroom is going to be your first line of defense. As you can see, it's free to plant. Um, but it has only a very short range of attack. It'll only hit the first object it comes in counter with, too. It also has a lifespan on the board, so at, over time you'll notice that the uh, puff shrooms start to fade, and eventually they'll flicker and then disappear after about a minute. You can combat that by either planting more puff shrooms, or you can plant food one of them, and a chain reaction will happen where they all get regenerated and deliver a little attack. Our next one is the fume shroom. The Fume Shroom is basically your pea shooter of Dark Ages. This is going to be your major line of defense. This is our new zombie, the Peasant Zombie. We've also got, coming on screen, the Imp, the cone head, and in a minute you'll see the Bucket Head. The Fume Shroom is really um, good against all of these new zombies. Let's get a couple more out there. I am playing with a cheat that allows me to plant without the cooldown, but I want to make sure you can see all the plants in this level. I will show you the plant food effect for the fume shroom as the bucket head comes on here. You also notice your puff shrooms are really starting to fade now. We'll, I'll show you what those do when they go away. Plant food effect on the fume shroom will not only deliver a lot of damage, but it'll also send your zombies in that whole lane all the way back to the first row. It's a really good opportunity for you to reset your uh, strategy. Here's a new zombie, the night zombie. He wears a night helm, which adds some extra protection. <laughs> His health um, will take a lot of damage, um, but it makes him really particularly useful with one of our new plants, the sunbean. The sunbean, when planted and then consumed by a zombie, will actually turn that zombie into a sun production zombie. Yet another way to kind of combat the nighttime combat. You'll notice um, as he takes damage, he'll drop small pieces of sun along the way. Because the night zombie has so many hit points, when you plant food, fume shroom here, you can really see how much sun wow. one of those zombies can deliver to you. Next is the jester zombie. The jester zombie can actually pick up projectiles. So as I plant these pea shooters, you'll see that he'll actually pick up the pea shooter, spin around, and he throws it back and actually damages your plants. So you can see that if you were to throw a lot of projectiles at him, your plants would get damaged. The way to combat that is with the fume shrooms. You can't really pick up the fumes to juggle them so your plants stay safe. The last plant that we have here is our premium plant. This is the Hypno Shroom. PVZ1 fans might uh, recognize him from the original game. When consumed, the zombie will actually turn around and start to defend for you against other zombies in that lane. We also have a new plant food effect on the Hypno Shroom. When you plant food at Hypno Shroom, not only will you um, see the zombie eat him, turn around and start to defend for you in that lane, we also have a nice surprise. He turns into a gargantuar. Amazing. Not only that, he'll smash every zombie in that lane as he exits. A 
And that's all the content in the new update. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.